Oh, oh, yeah. What? You look familiar. It's good to see you again. You too. Where, where are you guys? We're at Drew's, uh, Drew's house right yeah. now. Okay, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm in Pennsylvania. I'm not in New York. Sorry, they're golfing outside. That's why there's a little noise. Nice it looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, hold on. He's so You're so lucky what? that you even have trees. Yeah, yeah. I left New York right when like they said that everything was gonna be closed. I was like, peace. I'm leaving. My parents have a house. Good here. call. I've been here since March. Are you enjoying it a lot? Or are you getting tired of it? I mean, I'm enjoying it because it's a change of pace, but like kind of tired of just looking at everyone on Zoom and like, you know, not yeah. really having a civilization in a sense. Facts, yeah. We're stuck out here and we have to wait in line to just go to the grocery store. It's yeah. pretty fun. Crazy. What have you guys have been doing to keep busy? We've been writing a okay. lot. Music, music stuff, jamming. We got the show coming up. We partnered with Music Cares and Top Shop Live and uh, we're going to be performing to new and old songs. It's gonna be super fun. Of course. This is crazy. Yeah, just... Why Talk Shop Live? What 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 stood out to them for you? Um well I I have known Tina and Brian um for a super long time. They did some stuff with us back in 2016 and I've stayed in touch with them. I went on there to drop a merch line of like some solo stuff that I did and they were awesome. So when they hit us up and said hey we have this new um you know like part of our live stream thing where we can sell tickets and do a concert would you guys be interested and we were like heck yeah and then we partnered with music cares to give the proceeds or profits to them and yeah it's just been amazing because uh, music, music cares they run the grammys and they also do a ton of stuff for like the local community um and they do a lot of stuff for just like they were getting music in schools and uh they've been doing a lot for this COVID. Um, stuff they, that relief stuff. A lot of our friends and people that can't tour right now have been, you know, getting support from them. So we just wanted to shout them out, give them some more funds to help more people and get back to the arts. Yeah, it, it feels really good. Um, at first, I was, I was like, nah, you know, we should try to play a show. Make, play a show, and you know, we can't well, tour. We can't tour either. Yeah, we're like, our, my thinking was like, you know, I want to make money off this, and then Keaton's like, dude probably not the best time to be thinking along those lines and then now that we're doing it with a charity it feels really good yeah. like I actually feel good it just feels like time to be selfless you know and give back and pretty much everybody is on that page where it's just like we need to come together and just help each other out as much as possible of course of course yeah. and you know I saw you Wes in Vegas in September and you were telling me that you know emblem three was coming back so this is really yeah. exciting that it's all coming it's all coming together now. I know, I wasn't lying. Yeah. I feel like everybody was like, is he just saying this like to get hype or some shit? Like is he making this up? Because I don't believe it. And then now obviously it's real. And it took me so much not to like go and tell Cheers. everybody about this and like everything that we've been doing and like how many songs we have and like the whole plan. It like was really hard for me to keep the secret because I am so excited for this okay. You mentioned that like new music you're gonna be playing too with this concert. So what's, what can you talk to us about this new music? Uh, we're, yeah, we're just gonna be playing a couple new songs. Uh, we have a bunch recorded, but we don't really like know all of the songs live yet because we've just been recording and like working on that aspect. Yeah. Uh, but we have, so we're gonna, we're gonna play a couple okay. um, new songs. I don't know exactly how many, but we're playing two new songs, right? It's been interesting. It's been, it's been really fun to <clears throat> kind of see how it's all evolved. And it was, I mean, we just started jamming together for the first time getting ready for this show. And it was like, so part of it was like riding a bike, you know, we, we like can just hop in and go. And then another part was like, whoa, we've all learned so much and changed so much as musicians. So it's been interesting, like getting it tight together as a group, but it's it's so cool. Like me by myself, I can, I can, I can be this level, but then with these guys, it's like, boom, like way up. So it's a crazy feeling of it's like power. Yeah, when you have three that all are like on an expert level now, I feel like. And it's just such a different level of professionalism. Um, it's amazing to work with. 
Of course. And I know, Drew, you tweeted that this wasn't really a breakup back in the day. It was more of a long pause for self-discovery. So how would you say, yeah. like, you've grown as a person and maybe maybe Wes and Keaton, how did you guys grow as well? You go. Oh, me. oh, I mean, yeah, that was it, the past three and a half years. It's so crazy to even begin to explain, but I'm just going to do a very... Um, broad <laughs> summary okay but yeah i mean personal personal evolution i went through like a crazy um relationship with the girl and that was like the biggest growing period i think that and through and as well as just um works on my craft like I, I wanted to truly feel like an expert not just at performing or vocals or writing or anything but like the, the engineering process I wanted to develop as well and also just getting a better understanding of how the new uh, music industry works okay. so it was just the best growth period ever and I feel like come out on the other end a more refined knowledgeable musician and person we started and kind of popped off at a very transitional period like we started yeah. when Spotify I mean, technically, it's probably when physical one, sales yeah, were at an all-time low and digital streaming was like just starting, just starting to become prominent, but all of our team were like old, old schools, so yeah. they didn't really want to adapt. They're like, "Oh, this is these platforms are gonna phase out." Um, yeah, but we yeah. learned. I mean, we we really learned a lot and mastered like what to do and how to run it. And I don't know. I'm really excited for this next phase, and we are in the driver's seat. At, to the fullest and that feels amazing what about you Keats? yeah i mean uh in 2016 we did uh, a tour and put out some music and stuff and that was uh really interesting we i think just got taken advantage of by some of the people we were working with um and yeah. so yeah, it, was it was just was kind of like hectic. a crazy <laughs> Thing. And I think all of us were kind of just exhausted after doing that tour and just dealing with these people who are just like basically stealing from us and taking advantage of us. Yep. Um, it was really frustrating. Yeah, I mean, after that, I was like even questioning if I want to do music at all and like what the purpose behind doing music and why, yeah, why am I even here? Um, and I think all of us kind of went through that a little Dude, bit. Yeah, the existential thing of like, all right, what is actually happening? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and I mean, when the guys approached me at this, this most recent, just like, we should do this again and make some new music. It was a very gradual thing, but basically, just kind of, there's a lot of people out there that really love the music that Emblem 3 makes together. Um, there's a lot of fans out there that are just still super passionate about the band. So I feel like it's going to be a really thing to um, make some new music for those people and, you know, try to give back to the people that have supported us the most. Yeah. To, for the people that like actually got our lyrics tattooed on them and stuff. Yeah. It w wouldn't be fair if we just stopped. Stop. <laughs> no, I know, I know. We It'd got be like this sick. Justice. I got this tattoo for you guys. We, we were in the last justice. three years. <laughs> Can you believe that so it's been true. like eight years, I think, since you guys like came on the scene with X Factor and stuff? That was like I can't believe it was eight years ago. Yeah. It's crazy. It's yeah. Weird. We, <laughs> we were kids. You were like 15, 16. I was 15. Yeah. We were Wow. <laughs> yeah, that whole thing was just bizarre because it was like one month I was working at Subway. Like, we were all just living this low key, working on our album, skating, or surfing, and just living in Huntington. And then six months later, or maybe even less than six months, it was like, Starring arenas, yeah, <laughs> arena <laughs> shows, and just thousands of screaming fans, and like what? And we were thrown into the mix of that, and didn't really know which way was up. Yeah, um, not really. We had a couple people like to, you know, like one media day where they like kind of prepped us and gave us some guidelines on how to deal with PR. Yeah, out there. And then it's <laughs> like, go do it. And I look back on things that I said and done, and I'm just, I just I was. I'll literally cringe sometimes at certain things that I did because I didn't understand and I wasn't super grateful at 
certain points because I had nothing to compare it to. Uh, yeah. But I yeah, guess that's, I guess that's learning. Them. I've known you guys for so long. Like, I think the first time I met you, I was in high school, and now, like, I'm 25. It's crazy. Yeah. What? what? We've grown up together. You look really good, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, um, I haven't aged. <laughs> yeah, no, you've aged super well. Your skin is like, looks really baby <laughs> soft. <laughs> Do we have any set dates yet for any of this new music? I know maybe tour is probably going to be next year, but can you give us like a timeline of when we could expect all this um, stuff? We don't have anything like fully set in stone. We kind of had an outline uh, at the end of last year when we were like thinking about doing all of this. And then obviously with the COVID situation, uh, everything kind of just changed. So um, we're kind of just feeling it out. Now uh, we have the show on the 25th. That's Yeah, the, we wanted to do something. So the live stream show, um, and then we'll probably be dropping at least one new song um, shortly after that. Uh, and probably more to come throughout the rest of the year. Um, as far as like live shows and doing a tour or something, probably won't happen until at least, you know, fall, winter at the earliest or even like early next year. Okay. Um, just cause I'm not sure where live shows are gonna be yet, but 